I thought I had a pretty good grieving time of like, okay, I'm single now, let's get over it, let's move on. Um, there we are, there we are, indeed, perfect. I could get back to full health, everything's lovely and great and wonderful, and we just gotta bubble this guy. Um, first gal was like a women's counselor. She, uh, uh, she worked at like a center for abused and, uh, not diseased, I don't know why I thought diseased, but abused and, uh, basically just a women's center where they had to, like, help out with legal problems of, uh, women that had, uh, household abuse. That's, that's what it was. And, uh, we had a good date. It was lasted a while, a lot longer than I thought it was going to. And I thought things were going really well. And she messaged me one day and she asked how I was feeling because I had been kind of sick. And I said, eh, I'm not doing that good right now. I'm kind of bumming out, you know, about still being single. Um, I'm not missing my ex. I don't miss my ex at all, but I miss feeling important, you know? If you're in a relationship, you feel important to the other person. I was feeling kind of down about not having that now. And she sends me a text message and says, well, you know, because I work at the Women's uh, Health Center, like, I deal with this kind of uh, depression and stuff all the time in my work life, and I really don't want to have to deal with it in my personal life, so... Goodbye. <laughs> really, though? Isn't that just cruel? So cruel! Um... What a terrible counselor you must be, lady. Good God. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh no! You know what? I think next time that I get to Wily, I might just save because this is kind of ridiculous. I don't think Quick Man stuff works against you. I don't think it does. This is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. Man, his his attacks do a lot of damage. Wood. Wood will save me. Wood will never save me. Air? I don't think so. Heat. Uninterrupted. Interrupted heat. This is, like, weaker than the regular blaster. This sucks. This sucks dick. Oh, man. Oh, man. As the first lady, as first lady of the United States, Pat Nixon once said to her husband, Fuck you, dick. Mm. Okay. Okay, calm down. You know what? Here's how I'll make it acceptable to myself. If I can get through all of these robot masters without dying, then I get to save state. Eh? Eh. Okay. That will justify it for me, because that is a feat that is quite admirable, and, uh, yeah, that'll be perfect. Lovely. I'm doing it that way. Doing it my way, as Frank Sinatra would say. So, she did not like to talk to me because I was apparently damaged goods or something like that. Some BS like that. Counselors. Those lovable people. That was, that was a real, real suck butt of a situation, I have to say. Um, but obviously I'm glad that, uh, she revealed her true colors in that instance, rather than, you know... Oh, no, 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 Fuck you, quick man, so hard, up the... Now mm. I just want to restart, I really just want to, like... I might just do that. Fuck quick man, so much. There's no other person that is as difficult as quick man. And he probably isn't that difficult. People are actually like, oh my god, Gunslinger, are you not, do you not realize his other weakness is clearly his own weapon? Or something, even though it's clearly not, because I spent that time hilariously hitting him in the face with his own fucking weapon. Just kill me. Just kill me. I want to die. Not because of this relationship business. I've never gotten that sad. But, uh. So that was one thing that happened. And then... Scratch, scratch. Just today... Well, no, not today. Yesterday, technically. Yesterday, I went on a date. Um with another person, and something very unfortunate happen happened. We went to a bowling alley, and I gotta say, something bad always happens to me when I go bowling. I don't know what it is. One time I went bowling, and we got placed in between, like, these super drunk guys. You know the kind of guys, oh, I don't want to live! These guys who, uh, like, go bowling every day, because they have no lives and no job, and so they just go and spend their time bowling, and they get really good at it, and they try to tell other people how to get good at it because they feel so superior to you because they have a fucking useless skill like bowling. <gasps> so I was placed in between those two guys, and, unfortunately, a bunch of special needs children who did not have very good su supervision. They were, uh, with, like, some grandma of one of the kids, and, uh, she was not looking after them at all. 
so we had the drunk guys wandering in. This is this wasn't during my date, remind you. This is something that happened previously that I'm saying it sucks. I should never go bowling ever again, really. Um, awful, awful, awful time bowling. Because the drunk guys kept trying to, like, invade our personal space and, like, and you know you're not doing that right. You gotta put a twist on it. Eh, eh, eh. Here, I'll show you how to, how to do it. And then the special needs kids would go to bowl and they would, like, get in our way, like, our lane. And we would try to be like, oh, excuse us. Like, we need to, we need to bowl. Like, it's our turn. No, you guys need to stay in your area. And, uh, Grandma got pissed. Like, she would throw dirty ass looks at How did I just be quick man that easy? She would throw dirty ass looks at us. And, uh, I was like, what the fuck, lady? Like, we're not trying to, like, get in your kid's way. Like, come on, just say, hey, you know, oh, that's their space. We need to respect their area. Um, and that night, actually, my sister, because of the stress of it, because we didn't want to leave. We didn't want to leave after we paid, like, I don't know, 25 bucks to be bowling. So we stayed the whole time. It was very uncomfortable. My sister got very stressed out. And because she has uh, diabetes and she wasn't really, uh... When, when people who are diabetic get really stressed out, their blood sugar drops, and hers did really bad that night, and she actually had a uh, diabetic uh, seizure. And I think that was actually the night... No, that wasn't the night where she fell down the stairs. Because that was a different diabetic seizure incident. Um, but it just was really, really awful. Um, really bad. Um, but this time, when I went bowling with this girl, I'll call her M, she... Uh, it was it was an okay it was an okay date for a while for a little bit, but about halfway through our second game, I go up to bowl, I turn around, and there's this random ass guy talking to her. And at first I w I wasn't like is he hitting on her? What he was doing was he was selling her makeup, like he had a whole kit and he was trying to like push makeup on her, and she looked really uncomfortable. So I went up and I was like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Like we're bowling, excuse us. Like can you get out of here? Like, not very kindly, I'll admit, I wasn't too nice about it, because I was pissed off! You know, plus the adrenaline from bowling. You know, throwing a large, heavy rock down at white, innocent pins to knock them all down and hear the crash. You know, it's an aggressive sport. It might be one of the most aggressive sports out there. Bowling. Eh. Um... You gotta hit those things with the thing, and you gotta line it up. Blah! There's no ball in hole here. There's ball in pins here. Oh, I was really hoping I had timed that better, but sadly, life was full of despair. <clears throat> oh, life was almost even more full of despair. Oh, shit sticks. Uh-oh. This is really bad. Maybe not really bad. Okay, this is actually really bad! <sighs> so... Uh, he's selling her makeup, and I said, dude, 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 get the hell out of here. You gotta go. And he looked at me, like, you know that casual, like, I'm I'm putting up with you right now kind of look, even though I was the one putting up with him. And uh, she gets really pissed off at me. Like, really pissed off. And, uh, ooh, hello. That's actually good to know. For some reason, Airman is really good at... Oh, <laughs> okay. So, oh, well, there you go. I learned a little bit something new there. Okay, okay, okay. Airman stuff is good against Woodman. I don't know why. Maybe because Air is good at knocking over trees? Um, cool. And he kind of gives me that, like, I'm putting up with you because you're obviously here, but I don't care what you think kind of look. And she gets mad. After and he didn't go away when I first said like get the hell out of here, and so I kind of I didn't I wasn't about to like punch the guy or anything, but I was like dude like can you please like legit can you please get the hell out of here? And I didn't I don't know what this guy's about to do. Yeah, he's supposedly selling makeup, but we live in kind of a not a scummy area, but there's crazy people all over the place, and uh, I just don't know what's gonna happen in this situation. And he fucks off, but she goes wow that was really really inappropriate of you to do. Like, I... You don't think I could tell him off? Like, really? Like, you're that controlling? And I, I just said, I'm sorry, I turn around and there's some stranger talking to you and selling you medicine at maybe not a private moment, but... Well, yeah, if... 
wouldn't you think that the people running the bowling alley would be fucking pissed off that somebody's coming in and like, not necessarily loitering, but like, I, I don't know, I don't know. It was a really uncomfortable situation and it ruined the whole date. Um, we still sat around and talked for about a couple hours um, and I managed to get her to cool down, but it ruined a lot of the date and uh, I'm not necessarily blaming that guy, because that, that's just a red flag on my be on my half. You know, how mad she got just at that. Um, but then, as the- ooh, that was close. As the date progressed, um, I got her to cool down, and she was starting to get affectionate with me again, which was really nice. She, like, touched me on the arm, kind of gave me my arm a good little grip, you know. Because I got a big arm. And, uh, wow, I couldn't tell where Crash Man was there for a second. No! No, I'm not losing to you! You're the easiest thing ever! Okay, good. Um, <laughs> that was kind of scary. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, she's feeling up my arm, and I was like, whoa. I feel like a side of beef in here. And she goes, really? Did you just say that? And I'm like, what? She said, I'm trying to, like, get affectionate with you and maybe lead up to a kiss, and you're just gonna ruin the moment like that? Really? Okay, I'm out of here. And she, like, got out of my car. Yes, we were in my car. Shut up. Um, she got out of my car and, like, slammed the door and left. I was like, what a bitch. Like, I don't normally say that. I don't normally like to use the word bitch, but what a bitch. Come on. You can't handle just, yeah, I feel like a set of beef. Maybe it wasn't the most romantic thing to say at the moment. I don't know. You don't like beef, honey? You don't like my man meat kind of thing? <laughs> Even I felt bad for saying that. But it's not like I said like, oh man, you feel me up so much I'm so excited. I feel like I could throw up right now. You know, it wasn't anything like that. <laughs> it wasn't like I brought up some incredibly gross imagery. I felt like, yeah, I'm a beefcake here. Look at me feeling so attractive with my giant manly muscles. But no, apparently for her, it ruined the whole day. And she left, uh, and now I don't really talk with her. <laughs> so, ow, fingers. Um, that was the perils of my day, and, uh, it's just, I can understand where they're coming from to a degree, because, yeah, it was, like, really not overly aggressive, I would say, to get in that guy's face about selling makeup, but, like, I know a lot of people that would have told him to do a lot worse things to himself to get the hell out of there, you know? I mean, what about, what do you guys think? If some, if you were on a date, and you have, you were in somewhat of, of a private moment, like, a restaurant, let's say you go to the bathroom and you come back and some guy's sitting there and, or maybe not even sitting there, like trying to push something on, on either your girl or your boy and they're obviously uncomfortable. Do you go, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I, I thought she was already trying to deal with the situation. You know, I thought in my mind, like, oh, she's already told him to go away and he's not. Because she already had like a thing of makeup in her hands. Like, he'd obviously been like, here, take this and this and this the sampler, that kind of stuff. And I was like, maybe I, maybe I do have rage problems. Maybe I am one of those video game people that get mad, say things that I shouldn't. But I don't see why that caused such a visceral reaction from her. Such a strong negative reaction. I mean, maybe it was a red flag, but I, oh shit. Oh shit. I don't feel like I overreacted. Maybe I acted a little... Hmm... I don't even want to say aggressive, because I didn't take that mean of a tone with him. I was just like, get out of here. Like, come on. More frustrated than like, I'm gonna kick your ass. If you don't get the hell out of my state, I'm gonna use my propane and propane accessories to drop some propane on your ass, honey. Okay, now I'm saving. Save state as propane. Lovely. Because I got here. I got to Wiley without dying a, a single time. Am I right? Am I right? I'm fucking right. Let's do this. I, I have justified myself. I beat every single robot master in the town. Even Quick Man. Even Wood Man. Flawlessly. To a degree. Look at that. I almost have full health going into Wiley. What more could you want from me, people? I think I've earned it. I've damn well earned it. I will aggressively say I've earned it. This is probably a red flag for some of you motherfuckers out there. But you know what? This is who I am. You forget who you're dealing with, game. You forget who you're dealing with, audience. And even you, Madeline, you forget who you were dealing with. You were dealing with none other than the motherfucking invisible goddamn gunslinger. Number one, let's kill this son of a bitch right now. With 
<laughs> this is bad. This is not too bad. I'm going to die. Okay. Follow the bouncing balls, eh? This is unfortunate. Okay, okay. Crashman's thing is gone. Metal Man stuff bounces off. I really don't have much else to do. Fuck the bubbles. Go. I think I really need to focus on learning to dodge here rather than doing damage. Okay, bubbles are nothing. Uh, pardon me. Bubbles have always been nothing. Aw, oh, air does nothing. Heat has always been bad. It hurts! The pain! Oh yeah. I just gotta say, if it's not fully charged up, heat can kiss my ass, because heat sucks. 